Now to our story on two big names in Australian music, Monique Brumby and Gautier, who are taking time out from their busy careers to connect with young people in a very personal way. Both award-winning singer-songwriters are keenly aware of the powerful role music's played in their own lives. So, off stage and away from the recording studio, they're part of a music therapy group for chronically ill teenagers and young adults in Melbourne called Aardvark. 7.30's cameras were given access to Aardvark's Q headquarters this week to film a session. Girl, you know you're the... Oh, it's really nerve-wracking knowing that you're here, so I can't... <laughs> <laughs> it's just like knowing Thanks. you there, it's just like, oh... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, guys, um... Girl, you know you're the apple of my eye Angel in the sky, dreams come true Girl, it's only you Quite well, yeah. <laughs> hey. So is everyone, everyone's here? Everyone's everyone here. today everyone's at Australia. this music therapy session includes musician Wally DeBacca, better known as Gautier. Wally DeBacca got involved with Aardvark just before shooting to worldwide fame three years ago. Being a bedroom musician who's made my own records and put them out independently in Australia and then in recent years had the experience of working with a wider team of people. Like I sometimes kind of, maybe I forget um, what, you know, that maybe they are of interest to other people who have an interest in music. And how has your own life changed in the last couple of years? I think I have become busier and maybe also more comfortable with that busyness. Maybe about the idea that I'm effectively a workaholic, but that because I love what you'd call my work so much, it never really feels like work for me. He's looking for the border where the love can me. That sentiment's echoed by Melbourne-based singer-songwriter Monique Brumby. Oh, love I felt there was a connection with the young people um, that I couldn't sort of put to the side. She's now juggling her recording career with her role as Aardvark's creative director. Let's try and do it at a slightly different tempo. Could you maybe just mm -hmm. slow it up? Yeah, let's try and get it a little bit um, swampy or something. Sometimes the session can be quite confronting. There might be um, some re very um, raw emotion involved. A great session's been when um, we've written a song that has meaning and um, some vitality. Yep, so it's going to go. You sort of get that goosebumpy kind of feeling and, and also you see the mood of the group change from when they first arrive to when the session's finished and everyone leaves feeling lighter and brighter. It's just a lot of fun. It's kind of a highlight of the week, something to distract myself from all the other things in life that are going on. And what are those things? Sickness, troubles with friendships and just normal teenage stuff, I suppose. I hear a bird in flight transfixed by its beauty. I've been sick since I was a baby, so I don't really know what it's like to be healthy. Um, the first disease I got was a really rare liver disease that's most common, at the time it was most common in middle-aged men, and I'm still the youngest case that we know of to have it. Does it help getting up and having a bit of a dance and sing? It helps mentally, physically not so much, but mentally it helps a lot. There's also um, a real focus on positivity and creation of something new. Um, so, yeah, I, I think in that sense, my thought processes have changed um, as I've as I've worked um, with this program. So it's had a profound impact on your life. It really has. I've um, I've changed a lot. Does it make you reflect back on your own career? You know, I started out with a real whirlwind start. You know, being signed to a major record company, winning ARIA awards. I can't Having success at a really young age, it's given me something to strive for, I think, that I want to keep making records. Um, and the passion for making music is always the driving force, and um, that's why I do it. And that's why I do Aardvark as well, because I really do 
well, one of the reasons I'm involved in Arvac, I really do love helping other people make music. There's just one round of the chords after the bridge, yeah. okay, and then we go into the verse. So if I can help unlock some doors for other young people or other people who are wanting to experience songwriting and, and music, then use and abuse me. I'm here for you. Yeah. That's what I mean. The best part often for me is that break when I can stand back and not have to help anyone chat to anyone where they just, the, you know, it's so loud because they're talking so much. That's just gold. It's like, yep, they're connecting. Depression really, depression and anxiety I suppose as well. Sometimes talking to people is still difficult, there's like a barrier between me and everybody else, which is not here, well, like it's not when I'm here at Aardvark, the barrier seems to sort of go away. The shadow am I, faced in a I had a job earlier in the year and when that dematerialised, um, <laughs> uh, I found I didn't really have anything to do and I just sort of sat at home. And after a while, it just became harder and harder to talk to people, but it's becoming easier now. I think coming here has a hell of a lot to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Take control.